Good morning. We're back with another episode of Leon County Today with Sheriff Walt McNeil. I'm Sean Denight and Sheriff, uh, well, today is it's, it's one of those really fun shows. I, I enjoy these types of shows. We talk about All in Leon a lot, um, and it really is about that collaboration of community organizations. Oh, absolutely, Sean. The, one of the things we try to get across to the community is that we can't do this by ourselves. The Leon County Sheriff's Office, law enforcement in general, can't reach into our communities and try to solve all those issues. We have so many issues, so many diverse issues, and the best way we can solve those is somehow we figure out how to get synergy around a, an initiative that we all can embrace. And one thing we can embrace is quality of life mm -hmm. and reducing crime. Absolutely. And so we got so many organizations like the ones we're gonna talk about today. We've got the Urban League, obviously, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, and our Rotary Clubs. I can yeah. tell you, having a Rotary, and being a Rotary, Rotarian myself, yes, Yes. Uh, I can tell you how much work they do in our community to make uh, a difference. And we're going to talk about some of that today. One of the major things they do, obviously, is to try to reach the kids of our community. Yes. And we have one Rotary Club called the Rotary Club of the South Side. And that's yes. what we want to talk about today, what the work they're doing. And that impact is so important. We're going to talk about their work. And they have a, a very festive event coming up as well. They're going to tell us about that. I, I personally look forward to every year. <laughs> so we, we, won't, we won't share all that right, just yet. Right. We'll talk about that. And then we're also going to hear about our Juneteenth Festival. But it really is about bringing people together. And the more we interact with each other, the more we start to open up those lines of communication. No question about it, Sean. That, uh, one of the things that we can all do is we have a table of kindness mm -hmm. that, we, that uh, one of our mayors started some years ago, tried to bring, bring people from all walks of life together. Right. Uh, that's what Juneteenth is all about, yeah. trying to teach everybody about the history of, uh, of America mm -hmm. and particularly what's taking place here in, in Leon County and in the state of Florida. And Juneteenth, I think our citizens out there can learn a great deal about uh, the African-American uh, journey yes. and some of the heritage we have that that kind of undergirds uh, what America is all about. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about, you know, these collaborative efforts, it's an opportunity for these organizations to get to work, but they can't do it without the help of the citizens out there. Absolutely, absolutely. They need all of our support, trying to make sure that we're all, and again, I just keep that old phrase, that we're all in trying to serve the citizens of Leon County. Absolutely. Well, we're going to dig into this a little bit today. You're going to hear about two wonderful organizations doing great work in our community. And moms, get your dancing shoes ready. We've got details on an upcoming event. Stay tuned. Good morning. I'm Deputy Davis Clark with Leon County Sheriff's Office School Resource Unit here with your Safety Tip Tuesday. It's prom season. Follow these safety tips to have a night filled with fun, all while staying safe. Make sure your phone is fully charged before leaving and keep it with you. Never leave your drink unattended or take a new beverage from someone you don't know. If your glass is ever left alone, just get a new one. It is illegal for people under the age of 21 to consume alcohol, and it is illegal to drink and drive. Stick with your friends. Don't wander off alone and don't let friends wander off either. Following these safety tips can help you have a safe and fun night. And that's your safety tip. Have a great day. Start your new career as a corrections officer at one of the state's most innovative agencies, the Leon County Sheriff's Office. When I left the academy, my training never stopped. Work with state-of-the-art technology. You can make a lot of money at a very young age. Starting pay is $50,000 a year with amazing benefits. Firearms, taser driving training. A better work-life balance with more time off. They're going to sponsor you through the academy and pay you while you're there. Join the family. Apply today at leoncountyso.com. In today's society, kindness can sometimes feel hard to find. Like a purple unicorn. Cyberbullies hide behind keyboards. Road rage can accelerate quickly. And gun violence has taken our loved ones. But we can all work to tip the scales of kindness. Put down the weapons and think before you act. Pay for someone else's order at the drive-thru. Offer to pick up groceries for an elderly person. Or just write a kind note and pass it on. Find ways to spread kindness. Spread kindness. Spread kindness. Difunde amabilidad. Spread kindness. So let's go all in. And spread, spread kindness. kindness. Welcome back. The Rotary Club of Tallahassee Southside is calling all mothers and their sons to a dance floor. Our guest today is Dr. Maria Ponce, 
Dr. Ponce, tell us about uh, the Southside Rotary Club. Well, I can tell you that we definitely follow the mission of Rotary, which is service to others and uh, promoting goodwill and peace. And we've got several different causes that we support, especially engaging families and strengthening the families. We also do a lot of uh, community health projects. And so, you know, it's, it's never ending. We're always wanting to support. As you said before, we have to work together throughout the community. So the one thing is that we're out there in the South Side, we're meeting our folks, we're participating in the health fairs, providing scholarships, and um, following suit of our motto, which is service above self. Yes, you know, that, that's a great place to start because uh, we were talking about this uh, mother-son dance we've got coming up. And explain to our viewers, what's that, what's that all about in terms of you know, service above self, and this is the way that we're trying to engage uh, our community, particularly mothers and sons, to come. So talk about that. Well, this is a great opportunity to give that mother and son together time. I mean, what better way to honor our moms? You know, let them come out there with their young men. This is a great opportunity. And, you know, we also are encouraging our viewers that if they want to sponsor a deserving mom that may not have the ability to uh, get the tickets, then why not? You know, we can all do that. Um, but everybody deserves an opportunity to shine, and why not? Yeah. So this is one way to engage our families. Yeah, this is one of the things we're doing. Uh, we're trying to uh, reach out to particularly those mothers who the, have uh, been the victim of violence in our community. We want to make sure we can get them to the, uh, to the mother-son dance free of charge. And if there is people I'd like to sponsor it, it would certainly be a big help to us. So talk about uh, some of the other programs that we put on at uh, uh, Southside Rotary. Well, we definitely have uh, work with our, um, I, our senior citizens. You know, we provide uh, a Christmas, we provide a festival for them, and uh, especially there, there in the South Side, we come together, and I tell you, I have participated in that, and it's been amazing to interact and to meet and learn of the history of some of our folks in that area. We also participate in health fairs, you know, and we've also become aware of um, the opioid crisis, and so we're working towards that as well. So, and our next one will be supporting scholarships. Oh, wow. I, I'm absolutely looking forward to that in terms of trying to make sure we identify those kids as they come to the mother-son dance uh, who may be in, in need of those scholarships. So talk to us about uh, some of the other uh, fundraisers that we've got going on. Well, we are going to be, as a group, I think we're uh, going to be supporting the 100 Young Men Gala. Uh, we're also going to be, as I said earlier, uh, sponsoring, get, providing scholarships uh, to a couple of our high schools. And uh, that's what we're moving towards at this time. Dr. Ponce, uh, the Rotary Club of the, of the South Side uh, got its start uh, basically trying to reach the, the community on the South Side, seeing that there were some issues and problems there. Uh, each year, have you been involved in the health fairs they, they put on? Absolutely. Talk about that Absolutely. for me. Absolutely, with the Bond Clinic. Yes. Uh, I participated, wasn't able to be there this past year, but the year before, it was amazing. Uh, we had a great turnout from the community. And you know, just he preventative health is so critical to our family. So being able to participate in, in that and to promote the importance of health and nutrition goes a long way, and that certainly follows suit to our mission in Rotary. Dr. Ponzi, will you tell our audience how they can find out more information about the Rotary Club of the South Side? Absolutely, especially because we have a dance coming up. I'd like for them to go ahead and get online, buy those tickets at rctsevents.com. And uh, if, that, if they want to email, they can also do an email at rctsevents.com and we'll respond immediately. So I challenge all my friends and anyone in the community, please, if you can't make it, then sponsor a family. Thank you, Dr. Ponce. Still ahead, another great community event to support. This year's Juneteenth Festival. Stay tuned for more details. 
At the Florida Sheriff's Association, we are able to serve our sheriffs and Floridians thanks to our member support. The FSA Member Perks Program was created to give back to our members for all that they do. Members enjoy savings on restaurants, vacations, golf courses, car rentals, health care, movie tickets, theme parks, online shopping, and more. With over 300,000 offers, you'll always find ways to save. To learn more or to join the Florida Sheriff's Association, visit fsamemberperks.org. The Leon County Sheriff's Office is the proud recipient of the 2023 International Association of Chiefs of Police SIMC Leadership and Law Enforcement Research Award for their groundbreaking work on the anatomy of a homicide research project. This award recognizes law enforcement agencies that demonstrate excellence in conducting and using research to improve police operations and public safety. The Anatomy of a Homicide Research Project, a commitment to understanding crime, developing strategies based on evidence, and ultimately shaping a safer Leon County. Congratulations to Sheriff Walt McNeil and the dedicated team at the Leon County Sheriff's Office for setting the standard in law enforcement research. We're back with Alan Speed of the Capital Cultural Community Outreach, talking about this year's community-wide Juneteenth Festival. Alan, for those who might not know, tell us about the history of Juneteenth. Well, uh, Juneteenth uh, celebrates the emancipation of the African-American slaves in the United States. Uh, June 19th, 1865, Galveston, Texas, uh, the Civil War was announced over and the slaves were uh, announced free. Okay, and uh, what's the significance of that? What, uh, and why did you guys pick this up as a, as a cause from the cultural uh, perspective? Uh, we felt uh, it particularly important in this community uh, to give uh, the local area and businesses a place to show their economic uh, footprint and grow and connect the dots in the community as well. Okay, so for Juneteenth, what are some of the uh, activities? What happens at, at the festival? What, what exactly uh, is it take, that's taking place there? Uh, Juneteenth 2024 Bicentennial event, Cascades Park, Tallahassee, uh, has tons of activities. Uh, we have uh, the kids zone with face painting, uh, games, there's speakers, historians, live music uh, in the kids zone petting zoo again. Uh, our Juneteenth honors, honoring uh, African Americans of significance has made uh, great contributions to the community. Ellen, why is this such an important event? Uh, this event is very important to the community because it uh, gives the local businesses a chance to uh, provide their economic footprint in the community. Uh, it also uh, teaches the youth how you can be inspired and empowered from a tragic situation, thus our uh, empowerment scholarship at the event as well. And, and how can our viewers learn, learn more about Juneteenth and what you're doing? Uh, well, to learn more about Juneteenth, uh, we want everybody to log on to uh, our social media platforms, our Facebook, C4 Outreach, our Instagram, C4 Outreach, and uh, email us at uh, c4outreach at gmail.com. It's the letter C, number four, outreach at gmail.com. Alan, thank you so much. Up next in our deputy on duty, how one Leon County Detention Facility Manager is embracing servant leadership. Stay tuned. Domestic violence knows no faith. One in four women experiences abuse in their relationship. So most likely there are victims of abuse in your congregation. Don't think it doesn't happen in your church. Or synagogue. Or mosque. Because it does. It does. It does. Learn the signs of abuse. And how to help victims. Know the many resources available in our community. In the silence on domestic violence. Contact the Domestic Violence Coordinating Council or the Refuge House Hotline. On today's episode of Deputy on Duty, we're on the job with this Leon County Detention Facility Supervisor who exemplifies exceptional servant leadership qualities. My name is Felicia Hills. I am the Supervisor of Visitation, Front Library, Mail Room. Hills has dedicated almost three decades to the Leon County Sheriff's Office, establishing herself as a leader, not just in her role, but also within her community. I started with the state of Florida. Um, I wanted to change, and so I decided to come to the Leon County Sheriff's Office. I met so many different people. It was something exciting, everyday happening in visitation. It was never a dull moment, so 
I said, okay, this thing like this is going to be a long Jeopardy job for me. As a year of engagement marches forward, LCSO remains committed to Sheriff McNeil's vision of delivering top-tier public safety and community services to the residents of Leon County. Hills shares her mother's influence that motivated her to give back to her community. So with just the little that you have, always be willing to share. And I think she created a, a, a monster because now I can't stop giving, and that's just a part of me. In 2021, Supervisor Hills made it her mission to always give back by establishing her own nonprofit organization and has continued to this day. SC Cares is a nonprofit organization um, that started in 2021. Um, SC Cares is um, named after my mother, Essie Allen. She passed away almost 10 years ago. She instilled in us on giving. No matter what we have, the little we do have, share with others. Her dedication to serving the community and formerly incarcerated individuals truly embodies the spirit of all in and exemplifies the essence of servant leadership. I was talking to Lieutenant White and Brenda Martin stating that they needed items for the people that needed a new start. So I said, okay, well, SC Cares can get some things up, and that's how it started um, with getting care bags packed up for them. Supervisor Hills recently graduated from the second executive correctional leadership course, making her an exceptional leader, not only at the detention facility, but in the community as well. I really enjoyed that class. I learned a lot. I always treat people with respect and to Communicate is number one. Always communicate with your staff and with your employees. A genuine leader understands the importance of communication in fostering respect, trust, and transparency. Felicia exemplifies how effective communication can thrive within a team, emphasizing the family dynamic at the detention facility. I've been here for 29, almost 29 years. So like I say, it's, it's family. Um, we all go through different things at different times. It could be um, having an illness. It could be uh, death in the family. It could be anything. But knowing that you being there for that person can make a whole difference in that person's life. She says one aspect of being all in is... Being kind, being dedicated, treating people the way they want to be treated and should be treated. In her nearly 30-year career, one of her favorite moments is when she was promoted to supervisor. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. And, you know, they say you put the work in, you're always here, you're willing to lend up in hand, you're willing to come in on the weekends, you're willing to come in after hours. So we want you to be the supervisor with visitation. I was proud. <laughs> Whether you volunteer at FarmShare, donate to Patrol Stroll, or volunteer at LCSO community events, your contributions to the community are greatly appreciated. If you are a servant leader looking to give back to LCSO, please visit our website at leoncountyso.com. For Leon County Today, I'm Shonda Knight. Start your new career as a corrections officer at one of the state's most innovative agencies, the Leon County Sheriff's Office. When I left the academy, my training never stopped. Work with state-of-the-art technology. You can make a lot of money at a very young age. Starting pay is $50,000 a year with amazing benefits. Firearms, taser, driving training. A better work-life balance with more time off. They're going to sponsor you through the academy and pay you while you're there. Join the family. Apply today at leoncountyso.com. In today's society, kindness can sometimes feel hard to find. Like a purple unicorn. Cyberbullies hide behind keyboards. Road rage can accelerate quickly. And gun violence has taken our loved ones. But we can all work to tip the scales of kindness. Put down the weapons and think before you act. Pay for someone else's order at the drive-thru. Offer to pick up groceries for an elderly person or just write a kind note and pass it on. Find ways to spread kindness. Spread kindness. Spread kindness. Difunde amabilidad. Spread kindness. So let's go all in and, and spread, spread kindness. kindness. Download the Leon County Sheriff's Office mobile app right now.
Our mobile app makes it easier than ever to report a crime and get important safety alerts. You can also see who's been booked at the Leon County Detention Facility and follow reported crimes in your neighborhood, all in one convenient location in the palm of your hands. Download LCSO Connect right now. It's free in the Apple App Store and Google Play by searching LCSO Connect. Welcome back to Leon County today with Sheriff Walt McNeil. Sheriff, a lot to unpack in this episode. Let's start with the deputy on duty talking about Miss Felicia Hills. You can just tell her passion. She exudes it. Yeah, you know, uh, some of our staff that work in our detention facility, they, they oftentimes uh, are overlooked in some respects. When you talk about the Leon County Sheriff's Office, the community thinks about deputies on the road. Yeah. Uh, but uh, one of the major things we are doing in our detention facility is our efforts to uh, change and transform lives of people coming into our detention facility. Mm -hmm. And much of that has to do with leadership. I talk about leadership all the time, and yes. I tell people in the Leon County Sheriff's Office, I expect you to lead at your level. Mm -hmm. No matter what level you are, you're a leader. Right. And she embodies that. The fact that uh, she sees that uh, she has a, a mission of mercy yeah. uh, for those persons she comes in contact with. And it carries over, not only just in a detention facility, it carries over in her personal life mm -hmm. as well. And she's the kind of employee that, uh, I, I genuinely love having around because right. she, she makes sure that uh, the service we provide to our citizens out there is second to none. And she does not see uh, these status of people. All people are value, uh, valuable to her and valuable to us in the Leon County Sheriff's Office. So we're just thankful to have an employee like that with the Leon County Sheriff's Office. Absolutely, and you talk about that community engagement. She talks about loving to volunteer in the community, and that's another thing you really push with our employees to be involved in some sort of activity giving back. As you know, Shonda, uh, we, we almost require the mm -hmm. folks on our command staff to be involved in the community, but uh, she takes us on her own. Right. She, she's not being prompted by me or anybody else. Right. That's just who she is, quite honestly. And uh, and the idea that she embraces servant leadership, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the, the hallmarks of, uh, I think, of how a leader should, in fact, embrace uh, communities, uh, she epitomizes all of that. So right. we're really proud to have her in the Leon County Sheriff's Office. Yes, and, and you know, we got to talk about the mother-son dance. I, I've had the pleasure of emceeing that event for years now, and it's always so great to see all the moms out on the dance floor with their sons, all ages. Yeah. I mean, from little boys all the way up to grown men with their mothers. Yeah, I've seen that grow. I think we've had it for four years now, as you indicated, and it started out pretty slow. Yeah. Uh, but I can tell you, it. I hope the citizens out there uh, what we're trying to do, we, we partnered this year with Leon County Sheriff's Office and uh, our Rotary Club to try to embrace those families and mothers who are uh, mothers that uh, don't have uh, fathers in the, in the household. Mm -hmm. And we found through our, our anatomy of homicide research that many right. of those kids get in, in crime. And if you're citizens out there who, who want to do something about crime, this is one way to do it, to sponsor a mother uh, who will bring her child to this mother-son dance and you make a whole, a whole difference in our life, in, yeah. in their lives here in Tallahassee. That's right, that's happening this Saturday, so you can log on, get your tickets. It's gonna be at the moon. It's gonna be a fun time for a wonderful cause. Another great episode, so, episode Sheriff. Thank you, Shonda. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for joining us. We will see you next week.